Hi, Cancer. How are you guys doing? Thank you for being here with me today. Hope you guys had a good weekend, that your week is going well so far. If you celebrate Halloween, then happy Halloween, my darlings. Remember, these are general readings, so this could be something that is vice versa. Okay, Cancer. Whatever I'm saying. All right. Let's see what we got for you. What's coming to Cancer in love, please? Cancer. What is coming to Cancer in love? See, while I was shuffling, a uh, mask is on, kept coming out. So it says things are not what they seem. Love for Cancer. What is coming? Love for Cancer. You have insecurities. So someone definitely has some insecurities. Let go of the negative experiences of the past. Let's come into Cancer and Love. Okay. Rewrite your love story. Okay. And trust issues. Rewrite your love story. All right, let's see. What is coming to Cancer in love? What do we have? What can the Cancer Collective expect in love? What's coming to Cancer? Coming to Cancer in Love. We have the Five of Pentacles. Okay. The Eight of Swords. What's coming to Cancer in Love? So it does feel like somebody's kind of like. stuck yeah they're stuck in some kind of state of mind here um it feels like i hate to say it, but it feels like there is this energy of like nobody cares about me no one loves me no one no one has good intentions. I can't trust anybody. You know, it's like sabotaging relationships, sabotaging a connection. Yeah. It's coming to cancer and love. Or even in a giving, like, relationship, there could be feelings of, like, not feeling cared for or truly loved or something. And that's creating a feeling of, like, entrapment. Was coming to cancer and love. So yeah, um, it definitely feels like someone has adopted some kind of mindset here or beliefs that may not necessarily be serving them too well in the situation. Um, Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So someone knows that, you know, they whatever someone is doing here it seems pretty intentional. Okay. Whatever someone's doing, it's intentional. So, Cancer, if you're dealing with someone that seems to be like very mean to you, pushing you away, um, you know, acting whatever, or this could even be you acting this way with whoever, okay, or just people in general. It seems like you know, someone's conscious of what they're doing, they know why they're doing it, so it is intentional. Um yeah, that's what I'm getting here for sure. Okay. And the Six of Wands reverse would indicate that there's definitely some self-esteem issues at play here. Um, I feel like someone's prior relationship or relationships has caused them to just like lose self-esteem in themselves. Maybe they've dealt with a lot of betrayals 
a lot of um, rejection or whatever the case may be. So now they've adopted this mindset of, I'm going to push away everyone that comes towards me. You know? So, and a lot of this has to do with the past, period. Um, so you may notice, Cancer, that this person's really dramatic or they come off very negative, mean. You know, maybe this person does little petty things. Um, they try to make you jealous. They do a lot of things for like attention and because at the end of the day, they're, they're lacking in self-esteem here, okay? So this person's not, someone's not necessarily being real about it. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's why things are not what they seem is coming out. Someone's not addressing the fact that they view themselves a certain way. And that is why the relationship is the way it is. Um, that is why, you know, maybe, you, you know, obviously you guys are unable to be in a relationship. Okay. Because someone definitely has their defenses all the way up. Okay. Look how he's looking. He's like, look, don't come anywhere near me. This is intentional. This is intentional. You know... Someone's trapped in a frame of mind and they don't see any way out of it. What's coming to cancer and love? Okay, so instead what they would rather do is push away everyone. Um, seems like someone definitely needs some therapy here. They do. They need some therapy. Okay. So cancer, I'm getting this person, you know, they may even have feelings for you. They do. But they don't want to listen to their heart. You know, they just... They would prefer to just pretend like, you know, they don't feel any kind of way. So you could be dealing with someone who's acting different from how they actually feel about you. And again, you know, for relationships, this is somebody who, someone in that relationship is just really insecure. And um, that's what's causing all the, the, the problems, okay? That's why they do what they do. That's why they seek validation. That's why they're a cheater. That's why, because at the end of the day, they're just insecure. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if, if this person could even be a narcissist. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> you know, I wouldn't be surprised if someone could be a narcissist in the situation. So, <sighs> yeah, I definitely want to tread lightly with this type of individual. Because someone needs therapy. And they need it now. They need it bad. Okay. Once again, mask. Hidden motive, conceal, disguise, lying. So they're not being real with you. Then they may not be showing you real feelings. Okay. Right, legal matters, justice, divorce, balance, judgment may have this may, could be you know leading to a divorce or something. Okay, ghosted, disappear, silence, truth, rejected. Sorry, silence, ignored, rejected. Toxic relationship, Capricorn pulled this. Um, so you may be dealing with a Capricorn. I'm also getting financial issues could be making, could be like causing someone to feel really down on themselves. You know, um, they feel like they're never successful at anything. It's like this person's really a kind of a downer. Someone's really a downer in a situation. They're very pessimistic. Okay. So if you're not in communication, Cancer, with this particular person, unfortunately, I don't see you guys being in communication. Okay, it would only end up in an argument. It's probably best to withhold yourself and allow this person the therapy that they need. Okay. 
And I'm also getting, you know, someone could have these trust issues, obviously, as a result of what the other person has done to them. So obviously, I'm of course, I'm going to have trust issues, you know, you're a jerk. <coughs> <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? You know. You know, this person, I, you know, they, they probably de definitely care, but they need some work. They need to work on themselves, okay? You know, it's not, um, this, this particular kind of person, you know, I don't see anything successful happening with that type of individual. What is the advice for cancer in this situation? Advice for cancer... Okay. The advice is the Six of Cups reverse. It's like it's telling someone to let go of the past. Or if this is someone who is stuck in their past, you got to allow them to let go of it. Okay. Eight of Cups. There's something about forgiveness, uh, acceptance here is key to letting the past go. Hermit time. And also I'm getting for those who are in more serious relationships and marriages, you know, you got to get to the point to where you stop thinking about how things used to be between you and this person and focus on what it is right now. Okay. And you're probably just not happy. You're just not happy. Well, this person is just not happy. Okay. All right. Cancer. Storm. A lot of arguments. Storm. I think there could definitely be like some jealousies and some real bad temper problems. And oh my goodness. Drama. Ladybug, Virgo. Yeah, Virgo could have really screwed you over. Tattoos, festive. Or Virgo could have screwed them over. Yeah, Pisces. Chef. Carnival, fair. Cancer. Gemini. Gemini comes out in everybody's reading. Scorpio. You have Aquarius here. Children. Okay, Cancer, thank you for being here with me. It was a pleasure reading for you. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below um, how this reading resonates for you. Talk to you soon.